right, guys, so I got a Gen 2 Super Gaucho made by Peg Perigo in the shop. And the problem was is it has mechanical brakes. These are the little brake pads right here. And when, he, when you hit the brake pedal, it would slow down, but it wouldn't stop. It wouldn't engage the mechanical braking system. And it has an electronic switch, which cuts off power, but it doesn't apply the mechanical leveraged brakes. So we started tearing it apart and I figured, hey, let's do a video because this could stump a lot of people. So it was a combination of two things. So this is the brake pad system. So the rotor goes in here, you guys can see, this is the driver's side. But, um, so the rotor runs through here and these brake pads, you know, after use, these get shorter, right? So it's got this slot that it allows it to slide in there. Well, it's catching right here. It wants to just stop. So it's just, the molding of it is flared out towards the end. So what you gotta do is you're gonna have to file this flat. And also make sure that you clean this out real good. Maybe some um, Scotch-Brite and um, just something mild just to clean that off. So when you put this in, it's gonna slide and, and the pads touch now. So that was the first one. So I did the passenger side, put it in, and it worked, but it wasn't quite locking up. So the next thing you gotta do, because that pad wore and it changes the leverage, you have to go in here and this little mechanism right here, when you pull the brake, it turns. Well, you have to loosen this nut on the bottom. Can't really do it on the tripod here, but there's a nut on the bottom and you, let me adjust this, apologies. So you adjust this and you wrote, you clock this over one more tooth because as the pads wear, it changes where the lever is, if that makes sense. So I turned it clockwise facing down so that that pulls the arm out more and puts the pad closer. So that's basically it. It's a short video, but this can really help a lot of people that aren't mechanically inclined. Um, and you to get the brake pad out, you have to undo this screw, and there's two more down here. And if you wiggle it, you can get the whole mechanism to snake out. So here's a clip with the mechanical lever pulled out so that you can, um, basically there's a push nut on the, the top here and I pried that off with a screwdriver. And this is going back together. So instead of putting it up from the bottom and using the push nut, I'm just putting the pin straight down. It's not gonna fall out. So originally I didn't take a picture of it when I tore it apart but it had a push nut and the pin was facing up, if that makes sense. So to get this off, you pull out the pin, pull it out, and that can get you access to the inner brake pad so that you guys can file that or sand it. And then you put it back together, make sure that the um, little cam lobe is facing to the back. So it goes in like that right there. And then when you pull the brake lever, it pushes against the brake pad. Um, I know this would have been super helpful to me to find a video on YouTube on this. So. Find a video on YouTube on this. So if you guys like this tech tip, give us the old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. More videos coming.